Monday morning. Monday it is. We are headed to the thrift store. I can't show you the weather because it's not even open, but the sun it's is shining. It's too hot to open it on my bald head. It's going to burn me. <laughs> the sun is shining. Um, I uh, don't really have anything particular I'm looking for thrift-wise, just whatever we find, but I'm like smalls, but I'm looking for a big piece of furniture because we sold that bar. Well, last week was tchotchke week, so we got to find some cool stuff this week because everything needs painted from last week. Oh, so much stuff to paint, but it's going to be good. It, hopefully, we'll find a piece of furniture and I will be able to fill that hole. Here, I can give you a nice weather shot this way. Um, still snow on the mountains, but... Here's the problem. We're going to go from snow on the mountains to 100 degrees and my body won't acclimate in time and I'll just be hot and miserable all summer. You can just hop in the pool. It'll be fine. True story. It's 9.03, Zeb. How is it that we are almost like two minutes late, three minutes late? Now we're gonna be like four or five in this morning. Luckily, the parking lot is mostly empty because we are like four minutes late every week. Hustle we're up. Late. I am we, got, we gotta go. Always glassware first. $2. That'd be cute painted. Let's see if I can find anything else. Oh, I like this little dish. I'm not a fan of the huge dishes, but I have thrifted them. But this one I like, it's just perfect for a dollar. In the wood section, they've got these like hooks. Those are cute. There's another little gem. Four bucks, that's cute. Look at these. They're like hand carved wood, three bucks each. Definitely picking those up. I don't know. It's like a scoop candlestick situation for buck. I'm gonna pick them up. That's interesting. Holy bell collection. Let's see if there's anything I can't live without. Looks like they're all from like different states. And I thrifted some from a bunch of different states a while ago. They stuck around for a while, but... Oh, I wish that one had a bell on it. It's missing the clapper. These are fun. Definitely picking up this. It's got a lot of good detail. You know I'm going to be removing those because I don't like them, but this will be great painted. Love these. Three bucks each. Zeb loves painting these, so I'll definitely pick up all three of these. Well, that's cute. $1.50. I was going to try to find things not to paint, but I literally haven't found anything that doesn't need paint, except for maybe that bowl. And maybe these candlesticks. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing so good at that goal today. <laughs> what is this? Oh, cute. This is for paper towels. Two bucks, and it's cast iron. I... Oh man, I don't love grapes, but I do love the look of this. And it's not one of the cheap ones. We'll just call them blueberries. I'm definitely picking this up. Looks like it was in an antique booth at one point. $1.50. I also saw a cute little brass candlestick. Maybe we'll find another one. If not, I'm still gonna pick it up for a buck fifty. I feel like I need this got a little bit of a paint situation but maybe we can just paint it and make it look cute all right I'm gonna check out linens I don't know am I gonna be sad about not picking up all that lace oh it's a curtain I'm not seeing anything I can't live without let's go check out the kitchen area usually there's pretty good stuff in there look at these little egg cups those are cute last week we found a lot of bunnies Definitely gonna pick those up. And here's just a little simple white teapot. I don't know what's going on on the top of that. It's weird, like somebody added that and not in a good way. What I haven't been finding lately is rolling pins. Look how darling these salt and pepper shakers are. We were just saying the other day we didn't have enough. I'm gonna look and see if there's any other sets that I can't live without. Looking for dishes as always. The other day I mentioned that you probably have seen me purchasing more dishes than usual. And that's just because we are getting ready to renovate a cottage behind the shop for an Airbnb. Definitely gonna need those, those are cute. And I want to have a bunch of beautiful mix match dishes. So I'm just gonna buy a bunch, put them in the shop 
And then when I'm ready, I can just go shopping in the shop for what I need. Oh, let me see this dish here. Oh, another one. Now I have a set of four. These are so cool. Not everyday dishes, but let's see if there's anything else. I will try very hard to not forget to take some video of the cottage so I can show you what we're talking about. But I just feel like if I start buying all the things I want to decorate with it and then just put them in the shop, they'll sell or they won't. And then I'll just have lots of great stuff to work with. Zeb has already been outside and apparently found all of the large items. Some of them, huh? This <laughs> Good. is 10 bucks for the flat packs. That's awesome. I love that. I also love this. Look how cute that is. It needs a new paint job, but cute. Next up, I'm going to be looking at the furniture. I know I haven't bought furniture in a really long time because we've been trying to work our way through the pieces in the garage, but I have a very like wide spot and I don't have anything to put there. I'm not really seeing a whole lot. I don't know. That's cool, but I hate painting desks, so that's gonna be a pass for me. So I'm shopping the art section. I found this very French looking. Don't love the frame, but that's easily painted. 10 bucks. So I know Zeb has already been out here, but I don't think he saw this. It's really cool. And it's only $2, so that's going home with me. I'm actually surprised Zeb showed restraint and didn't buy at least that clock with all the detail. We've been buying a ton of big clocks and mirrors lately, so I'm probably gonna pass on them, but sometimes it's hard. It's hard to pass on them. This would be cute paint. Oops, it is. Two bucks. I like it. All right, so this is hiding down back behind. We'll see how much those are in just a sec. $2. Grape clock and bells for days. Someone dropped off their whole collection. Everywhere they've ever been, they got bells. This actually looks more like a cello situation. I'm glad I'm taking a second look because look what I missed. Chip and dip. Three bucks. That's cute. So we literally filled two entire carts in 30 minutes. This was only $10. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I'm glad that we got so much quickly because we have so many projects going on and we do not have time to do anything else today. So this is a one and done for us. All right, it all fit. I'm actually surprised. Now we're headed back home. We'll, we'll set it all out for them. Since we finished super early today, we're going to give you a cottage tour to show you what we're gonna be working on the Airbnb. So we'll head there next. Kind of moat. All right, so this is the back of the shop. This is actually our camper that we need to move out to the property. But this is the cottage and this is the hot mess express that is Zeb's irrigation that he's gonna finish up this week. And that's where the garden is gonna be. And there's Buttercup and the chickens. We have lots of cleanup to do, lots of spring cleaning. But this is the cottage. My son lived here for months and months. He moved a couple months ago and we're going to turn it into an Airbnb. It looks like a year. Let's go inside. Now we have not cleaned it. We put pill and stick carpet tiles. So we, he has he had a cat. And, and then yeah. he broke into all the windows. And so instead of replacing them, because he, he loses his keys a lot. And so if he lo lost his key, he would just jump in a window and like force it open. So we have foam in the windows right now. Those all got to get replaced. We have his very expensive football helmet that I'm actually going to make sure gets to my house. Um, and yeah, so we need to replace these windows. This original window here is gonna stay in. It's blocked by that um, mattress. mattress, but these will stay. This was actually um, built for this cottage. We're probably going to gut everything. Like all the walls, everything. It's gonna There's be no uh, load bearing walls in here. No, it's all the rafters. are. Only the, like the rafters are all up there. So we're going to completely give it a new layout. The cabinets are all like solid wood, but pretty well falling apart. Um, I don't know that we're keeping any of the appliances because I have a very specific look in mind. 
I'm actually not sure what's under this floor. I have heard that we, we might be pouring cement in here because there could be dirt. Just um, it. Yeah, again, missing window. This will probably be the bedroom and I'm going to get rid of this second door here uh, because it's just not necessary. So we'll put in a nice big window there and then that will give us more space. Here is the bathroom. Again, this is all just gonna get removed and redone. We just made it decent for Harrington to live in and he's no longer living here. So it's gonna get a new look. There used to be where that spray foam is, a pipe to a chimney. So we might look into possibly putting like, I would love like a little English fireplace situation, but I don't know. You think we'll that's- We'll see how grand it gets and what we have time for and budget for. Why are you talking about budget? <laughs> Why are you gonna ruin my life here? But yeah, so here's the cottage. Now you guys know what we're talking about. How many square feet is it? 500, like 505. 505 square feet. So, I mean, I don't really think it'll take us that long. It does have a new HVAC system in. It did not have air conditioning when we got it. So that's already done. The electrical has all been redone. Although we'll probably wind up furring out these walls and putting this all in the walls. That'll be easy though, because we can just fur right over the top of what's there and done. Yeah, it'll be great. And I am definitely keeping that door. Um, it's just gonna get a makeover. So there's a cottage. And if you stay here, you get to see our cute buttercup and there's horses next door. So it's kind of a fun little area. So this will all be planted here. I'm removing that. I've got peonies and hydrangeas going in here and we're going to take in that vine and go over the top of the chicken coop situation maybe and bring that across to hide a little bit of their situation. But yeah, I'm excited to have all this uh, irrigation done. Buttoned up by next week because we got to get the garden in. Yeah, so and also like you stay here in the summer, this is going to be a huge, beautiful garden back here. Twice the space that we had before. So yeah, it's going to be good. Thanks for following along with us thrifting and we hope you enjoyed the cottage tour. Yeah, not too many weird finds this week. Maybe my uh, little bronze slash clay statue, but uh, we're going to see how much that's worth and go from there. I'm going to show some close up pictures and videos, so don't miss out on that. And if you like these types of videos and you're excited about the cottage renovation, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and thrifting.